there, I'm Kay, and I have a lot of food allergies. So today I decided to rank them all. Stick around to the end of the video to see what my least favorite one is. Here's a hint. It starts with P and ends in nut. This is a long time coming. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but I felt like, you know, today's the day. Today's the day to do it. So we're doing it. We're doing it. We're ranking my food allergies. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a great time. Let's see it. Let's see the tier list. Before, before we get into the food allergies, I'm gonna pull up the allergies command. Because I don't know my own allergies by heart. I don't. I need to use this command every time I want to know my food allergies. Like, seriously? I'm at the doctor and they're like, what are you allergic to? I open up Twitch on my phone. I go into my chat and I type exclamation mark allergies. Every single time. I don't know them. But I'm allergic to wheat, barley, rye, milk, eggs, peanuts, turkey, beef, peas, and watermelon. Between this and this, one of it's rye, one of it's barley. I don't know which. We're gonna look at Google Images because I just yoinked this directly from Google Images. Okay, that helps, that helps. Okay, this one's rye, this one's barley. We're gonna start with rye. We're gonna start with rye because honestly, rye and barley, I have no opinion on them. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they're in. I don't think I've ever even had rye or barley. I don't know what they do. So um, because of that, just B. And we're gonna do the same with barley because I don't know what it does. I don't know what it does. Actually, we're gonna move rye down to C because it's kind of lame. The name is lame. And we're moving barley to B. B for barley. They're in bread. That makes sense. I can't have bread. <laughs> beef. So I have opinions about this. I have opinions about beef. I have a lot of opinions about beef. For most of my life, I was allergic to beef. That was like one of the allergies that I developed like as a kid that stayed with me forever. For a brief shining moment in time, allergy tests came back negative for beef. So I got to try beef. I loved it. Turns out the allergy tests were wrong. I was still allergic to it. But um, because of that, I'm putting beef in A. Because I enjoyed it thoroughly, and I wish I wasn't allergic to it because it was very good. Egg. Egg. I, I haven't had like straight up eggs before. I've not had like straight up eggs before, just like, you know, cooked or something. I haven't. But I have had eggs in baked goods. And the baked goods with egg were just worse than the baked goods with replacement egg. So, um, D. D. Eggs are D. I'm not a fan of them. I've had them in baked goods. The baked goods were worse with egg. Milk. I have a traumatic story about milk. So when I was a kid, obviously I was allergic to milk. I was allergic to like 60 fucking things. So obviously I was allergic to milk. And one time I was at Disney World. I was very young. It was my first trip to Disney. I was like five or six. Because you know, my parents are Disney adults. We go to Disney. So we were at Disney. We were having a meal at a restaurant. There I was, five years old. I was like, I want apple juice. I looked the waiter in the eyes and it was like, apple juice. So I ordered my apple juice. A while later, the waiter comes back with the drinks. The cups are solid colored. You cannot see through them. And obviously, my parents automatically assumed, Disney's so good about food allergies. They're, they're gonna make sure that my kid gets apple juice and not anything else, right? So I take a sip and I'm like, huh? This is some weird apple juice. It doesn't taste like apples and it's white. So I get my parents' attention. I'm like, uh, is this apple juice? And my parents are like, what the fuck? How did my kid get milk? It was milk. The waiter brought me milk. <laughs> they accidentally mixed up my drink with a drink for another kid. And I had milk. And we got our bill comped. We did not pay a single cent for that meal. That was the first and last time I had milk. And it was kind of traumatic. So because of that, C. It gave me a fun story. Peanuts. Peanuts. Now, I was allergic to peanuts my whole life. But for a while, I stopped being allergic to peanuts. And this wasn't like the beef allergy where it was just a fake out. I was actually not allergic to peanuts. I stopped being allergic to peanuts when I was like 11. So my allergist told me to eat peanuts all the time. Eat like, you know, peanut butter, stuff with peanuts so that I don't become re allergic because that's the thing that happens. If you stop being allergic to something and you just like don't eat it, you risk becoming allergic again. So I had peanut butter for the first time at the ripe old age of 11. And I instantly decided 
that it was the worst fucking thing I'd ever had in my entire life. I instantly decided that it was the worst thing I'd ever had. And because of that, I stopped eating it. Despite, you know, my parents begging me to, my allergists begging me to, I stopped eating it. And I became re-allergic. I hated peanuts so much that I became re-allergic out of spite. And because of that F, where they belong. I do not enjoy peanuts. Zero out of ten. Not even zero out of ten. Negative ten out of ten. Fuck peanuts. F the food is from hell. Exactly. Exactly. True. Next up, peas. I've never had peas in my life. I've always been allergic to them. So I've never had them. Thus, I have no opinion. They go in B. Fuck pea lives. That's a bit aggressive. I just, I have no opinion. Everybody hates peas. I'm not putting them in F. I have no opinion. They are just okay to me. They're not even just okay to me. I have no opinion. That's why they're in the middle. I have no thoughts. I look at peas, no thoughts, head empty. Not a single opinion in sight. <laughs> I'm not putting them in F. <laughs> Turkey. My allergies have like, you know, obviously, as I've grown up and my hormones have changed, my allergies have changed. And when I was like a very young child, I had a lot of food allergies and most of them I don't have to this day. But today, I'm not allergic to pork. And when I was a kid, I was allergic to pork. I was very allergic to pork. But I was not allergic to turkey. So the first few years of my life were just filled with turkey bacon. I remember enjoying it. I remember enjoying it, but I, the memories are too vague for me to say, yes, it was good. But you know, A. A. It was pretty all right. It was pretty all right. I remember enjoying it. Watermelon. I had it once when I was a kid and that's how we found out I was allergic to it. But um, honestly, it doesn't give me that bad of a reaction. I haven't had watermelon since I was like very little, but it doesn't give me that bad of a reaction. So I could have it if I wanted to. I just need to like take Benadryl and knock out immediately after. But I remember liking it. I remember liking it. I remember it being good. Honestly, the vibes, they were good. So for that, S. Wheat. We've reached the one that kills me, the one singular one that kills me out of all of these things. The rest of them, they just give me rashes and hives and stuff, you know? Maybe close up my throat a little bit. But wheat, she kills me. She kills me, she causes anaphylaxis. And anaphylaxis is the thing that kills you. I have a traumatic story, I have a traumatic story. I said that when I was 11, I lost a lot of allergies and uh, things on allergy tests stopped showing up. And wheat was one of the things that didn't show up on my allergy test that I got when I was 11 because I got an allergy test. I got one every year. And that year, things just changed for some reason. Along with beef, eggs, and peanuts, which I became unallergic to at that allergy test, I also became unallergic to wheat. It was the one food that would kill me, so my parents were hyped as hell. They were like, fuck yeah, you're eating spaghetti. So it was Mardi Gras. I had the week off school because it was Mardi Gras. I'm from New Orleans. We get a whole week off for Mardi Gras. It's a thing. So I was off school. And my mother was like, you want to try some spaghetti? And I was like, okay, sure. Why not? I probably won't like it. Because at that point, I've been eating rice pasta all my life. I was used to it. So I was like, hmm, I'll try it, but I probably won't like it. I tried it. 30 minutes later, <laughs> I was covered in hives. My eyes had near swollen shut, and I could not breathe. <laughs> so my mother was like, Oh, okay, I guess you were still allergic. Brought me to the hospital, but I was traumatized. It was like the first time I'd ever, like, in my memory, had to have an EpiPen used on me. And, you know, it was kind of traumatizing. It was kind of traumatizing. And now, I don't believe allergy tests when they say I'm not allergic to something anymore. And also, I couldn't eat, like, even rice spaghetti for like many years like i was like genuinely traumatized by spaghetti like you know even the spaghetti made out of rice that was safe for me i was fucking terrified of i was like mm -mm, keep that away from me i don't want it i don't want it keep it away i have trauma now <laughs> so yeah very traumatic and for that f where it belongs so here it is this is the tier list <laughs> this is the tier list my definitive and unchangeable ranking of my food allergies. It's finally been done. I finally put into words my opinions on my allergies.